Jane Moody and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to create this super adorable little sit sprite mobile that I made as Halloween decoration for my office. Uh, but obviously you don't have to use this just as Halloween decoration. It could be just because you love sit sprites and because it's adorable and you just want it hanging up in your room. So if you want to learn how to create this, just keep watching. For this DIY, you will be needing some black fox fur, black sparkling yarn, batting, a 6 inch embroidery hoop, 4 different colors of felt including white, some fabric scissors, a needle and thread, some black beads, and something to trace out your templates with like a pen, marker, or pencil. I also used some E6000 glue and a glue gun. So the first thing we're going to do is wrap these pretty sparkly yarn around the entire embroidery hoop. But before I do that, I'm going to wrap the yarn into a little ball so it's easier for me to manage. And then I'm going to tie the yarn around the embroidery hoop so it stays in place. Then wrap it all the way around until it looks a little something like this. Next, we're going to start on the sit sprites. So you're going to get your black fox fur and start tracing some circles. I will be providing a template for you guys so you guys get the perfect size. But for the video, I'm actually using a cap to one of my spices. And you will be making these circles in pairs, one for the front of the sit sprite and back of the sit sprite. And it doesn't really matter how many you make, it just depends on how many you want to hang on your mobile. Next, you're going to cut out your shapes and place them back to back so that both of the fox fur sides are touching each other. Next, you're going to start sewing the body together and to be honest, you don't have to be perfect with this. I wasn't. I was pretty sloppy with my sewing. I did it just enough to get the job done. But if you don't know how to sew, you can always glue or E6000 it together and when you're gluing the body or sewing the body, make sure to leave a little hole on top so that way you could flip it inside out and then stuff it with batting when you're done. Once you're done filling the little sit sprite up with some batting, you can go ahead and sew up the little hole that we left open. We're almost done bringing the little sit sprite to life. The last thing we need is just to add its eyes, so we're going to take our white felt and start cutting out the eye shapes. Next with some E6000 glue, you are just going to put some on the back of the little eyes and then place them onto your little sit sprite. You're going to take your little black beads and with your E6000 glue, you're just going to glue them on top of the little white eyes. And now your sit sprite is officially done and he looks so cute. You're going to repeat the same process to the rest of the sit sprites that you're going to make to place on your mobile. We're going to move on to the moon and stars now. The first thing we're going to start off with is the moon. So you're going to want to take your yellow felt and your moon template that I will provide for you. Now you're going to go ahead and start tracing your moon, but just a warning don't be like me and use something that's really bright colored to trace your moon with try and use something that's a little light colored and that you can barely see because if you don't it will stain your felt and it, it, it just won't look pretty after you've traced your two moons you're gonna go ahead and cut out your shapes put them together and start sewing them together and when you're sewing them make sure you use a light thread don't be like me and use a dark thread because once you flip it inside out you will be able to see it so I just wanted to let you guys know so you guys don't make the same mistake I did so you're gonna sew the moon the same way you sewed the sit sprite all the way around and leave a little hole at the top and then you're gonna flip it inside out and stuff it with some batting then sew up the little hole and you're done now I'm going to show you how to create the stars for the mobile. So you're going to take your colored felt and your star template and trace around the star. I will provide the star template for you guys. And just like the moon and the sit sprites, you will need to make them in pairs because you will be putting them together and stuffing them with batting. Once you're done tracing your stars, you can go ahead and cut them out. Now we're gonna go ahead and put the stars together. So for this one, instead of sewing, I decided to hot glue the stars together because I thought it would be a lot easier and it was. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get a hot glue gun and trace around the edge of the star and make sure to leave a little hole at the top just like you did with the sit sprites and the moon. And you're gonna glue it together. And then once you're done with that, you're going to go ahead and stuff the little star with some batting. And once you're done stuffing the star, you can go ahead and grab your hot glue gun and close up the top of the star. And if you like, you could also try and apply this to the moon and the sit sprites because it was a lot easier than actually sewing. And you're just going to repeat the same process to all the stars you're going to hang on your mobile. 
Once you're done with everything, we're gonna go ahead and start working on hanging everything from the embroidery hoop. You're gonna need your needle and thread for this. So to start hanging your stars, your moons, and your soot sprites, you're gonna go ahead, put your thread through your needle. I made my thread about 16 inches long and I went ahead, at the end of it, I tied a little bead with a knot. I'm gonna start off with one of my stars and poke my needle through and run my thread all the way through until the bead hits the back of the star. On the underside of the embroidery hoop, I'm going to sew the star to the hoop and then cut the thread. So there still should be some thread hanging from the needle and with that, we're gonna use that same thread to hang another felty. So you're gonna go ahead and tie another bead to the end of the thread. And just like the star, you're going to run your needle through the moon until the bead hits the back of it. And then go ahead and sew it to the bottom of the first felty that you put on. And when you're done, it should look a little like this. So with the instructions I just gave you, you're gonna go ahead and use those same steps to attach all the other felties. And it doesn't matter in what order you place all your felties in, just be creative and have fun with it. Once you're done attaching all your felties, we're now going to attach some yarn to hang the mobile. I cut four pieces of yarn about 18 inches long, but the size is completely up to you and how long you want your mobile to hang. And you're gonna go ahead and tie each of the string to four, the four points of the embroidery hoop. Now for the last step, all you need to do is gather your string together, tie it in a knot with the hoop, and you are officially done with your Sit Sprite Mobile. So that is it for this Sit Sprite DIY. I had so much fun creating it, and I love the way it turned out. It looks so cute. If you enjoyed the video, remember to give it a like so I know you want more. But other than that, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!